I'll tell you what, I trust this right here more than I trust this any day of the week. No reinforced metal. Barely tack welded at best. These things are old. There's no security lock feature other than what's on the inside, which hasn't helped out too much. But they do hold. Thin design. These feet, you can see, are not welded. They're barely tack welded, and they're already kind of folding in under pressure. You can see a very teeny tiny weld there at the bottom. I'm going to show you this in more detail coming up. Mail call. Whoa! Whoa! What do we got here? Ugh. Six ton heavy duty, 12,000 pound ratcheting jack stands with locking pin. So no more fear of the jack stand not being fully secured while you're working underneath the vehicle. We're gonna check these bad boys out today. Ugh. Ugh, there's one. And, ba -da 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 -da, how about some Hercules cutoff wheel? We got one, we got two, and two different thicknesses too. So this one is a 14 inch, eighth inch thick. This one's 14 inch and 332nd thickness. Whoa, good stuff. More fine cut, maybe a heavier duty cut. We are working on a boat trailer, so these are gonna come in handy. I can't wait to try these out. Hercules abrasive cutoff wheels for the Bauer miter saw. And we got another set of these six ton jacks. <sighs> yeah. Compliments of Harbor Freight. So we wanna thank today's sponsor, Harbor Freight, for sending us these very cool jack stands. They are going to come in handy when we go to set the frame up so that way I can begin making my welds. We have, I'd say, 50% of the pieces still for the boat trailer. We don't quite have all of it. Rob is working hard to try to make enough money to buy the rest of the pieces that we need for the trailer. When he has all the pieces, we'll just go down to his place and I'll put them all on my trailer. We'll bring it back and we'll start this project. Um, but I did let them know they wanted to know what I had up and coming for future projects. I did let them know I was getting ready to do this trailer build, which is why they were very interested in sending me the Bauer miter saw and a couple of blades. They felt kind of bad that it didn't come with a blade. So they wanted to send me a couple of blades to try out as well. So that was super nice of them. Thank you very much. We really appreciate that. This is going to help out so, so much, especially since I'm still looking for work and I didn't have to pay anything for these in order for me to be able to hopefully make a little bit of side cash doing this trailer build. So thank you very much for sponsoring us through this trailer build. That being said, we also needed some jack stands. I said it would be very helpful to maybe have a couple of jack stands. I have two jack stands. They're the little tiny two-ton ones or whatever, the little Duralast ones that I've had all this time. Uh, but that's all that I have. And I kind of needed two more to have one on each corner of the frame. So Harbor Freight was nice enough to send us out two sets of these six ton heavy duty jack stands. I'm gonna open one up here. We're gonna take a closer look. All right, well, here's a little box info for you. Maximum height, 23 and three quarters of an inch. That's how high it'll go up. So pretty close to two feet. Minimum height, 15, one eighth of an inch. So if you're driving a low rider, ain't gonna work for you. ASME PASE approved, okay? Uh, American Society of Mechanical Engineers Portable Automotive Service Equipment has met the compliance and standards to get certified by them. Well, let's check out some other box specs, shall we? Double locking mobility pin for extra safety and security. 
cast iron ratchet bar, heavy duty reinforced base, which we saw, welded foot pads, which we saw, ideal for auto shop, farm, truck service, and for boat, trailer, building, and restoration. Okay, here are the min max heights. We talked about that. And here is the width by width. So you got 10 inch by 11 inch. Spin this puppy around. What can it support? How about 12,000 pounds? That's what it can support. So that's pretty cool. Like I said, man, we're just checking these things out for the very first time. Wanted to kind of show them here to you. you slide this over, push this back, give you a little up close action here. All right, so here's some of that up close action I was talking about. There's the weld there. You pull this pin out, chink. Pull this out, chink. Pull that out, boom. Check a look at this. See these welds here? See the welds here, where the keyway would go. Uh-huh. Big old heavy duty hook on the inside. See where they would have that folded steel, but look, the feet are welded. Tip this thing over. Sorry, get some sunlight in here. You guys can see this. See where the welds are. Those are much heavier duty welds than the ones you guys saw on the Dura last. Reinforced welding here on the sides too. Just overall better construction, in my opinion. Way better than these little guys. Squirrel. You do have to be partially engaged in order for it to slide through one of the teeth. I understand that. Lift up, the thing does come down. That's why that locking pin is handy. Pull this out. Okay, you can see the build quality of the arm itself. We talked about this heavy duty pin, which you probably didn't see too well in the dark. Kind of reminds me of one of those Superman things that you put inside the cave, right? All right, here is that side reinforced welded seam. So that way it's not digging into the metal, having that all that weight on it. Here is the other welded reinforced seam. Goes all the way up to the top. Again, that pin literally just slides through. It's keyed. It slides through from one to the other side. The double support part. Okay, so... The double security, instead of having this pin slide out like you might have seen me do when I was vibrating the handle back and forth, it's simply this. Okay, let's say I found my height. I passed the pin through. I want to lock it in place. I don't want somebody wiggling it for the pin to come out like you saw initially in the beginning of the video. Here is the, uh, the double pin. I slide this through the little hole on this key and it's locked in. Now if I push it, it's not just gonna go popping out and no one can just lift up on it. So it's, that's your security right there. That's pretty good security considering that when you're underneath, you wanna have every means of maximum protection you could possibly get. I like that they incorporated that into these six ton jacks. All right, so I would be curious about your guys' thoughts and opinions, not only on the six ton heavy duty Daytona jacks, how do you feel about the aluminum ones? Do they also have similar features that these six ton heavy duty ones have? Do you like the aluminum ones or the steel six ton ones? Do you like the floor jack, which we did a review a while back when I was trying to find a floor jack and chose the Daytona. I thought it was a great floor jack. Ron's Automotive is still using it to this day. That thing is fantastic in my opinion, but what's your opinion? Also, have you seen the new Daytona low profile two and three ton aluminum floor jacks. Do you like them? Put it down in the comments. We'd appreciate it. All right, that's gonna wrap it up for this video. Look, I just wanted to talk about these jack stands a little bit, show you some of the characteristics and features that they have to offer. Again, I will take the link and I will put it down in the description for you guys. It'll send you to the Harbor Freight website. It'll send you to the page, which more information about this product if you wanna see it. Warranty, you guys are probably gonna ask about warranty. Let's see if we can spin the box around real quick. See if they tell us that piece of information on this box. Is it made in China? Yes, it says right there. But it's from Marino Valley, which is really close to us. So we're happy about that. Uh, two, 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 two. You know what? I'm not exactly sure about the warranty. And I don't want to uh, mislead you, okay? 
Look down below in the description, click on the link, it'll send you over there. Look and see what kind of warranty. I know that you can have extended warranties by paying a certain fee. I'd recommend doing so if you wanted to get a bunch of these and put them through the paces yourself. But we look forward to our boat build. Thank you very much, Eric and the gang over at Harbor Freight. We appreciate every single one of you guys and everything that you do for us with our continued growth of our channel. See you guys next time. Cheers and deuces.